Good evening folks, um, tonight's video is going to be another surface mount soldering tutorial following the one I did on this uh, kit here from AliExpress. Now if you've seen that video you will remember that I did have a couple of shots on both packages uh, which I did have to do a little bit of work to, to try and rectify. Um, and basically after that video had, had been finished and uploaded uh, I was cleaning up the bench and I'd, I had a, a closer inspection of the board and realised just how bad it actually was. Now the, the board as you, you were aware uh, from that video um, you know did function you know perfectly there was absolutely no dramas with it at all but just looking at the board it's it's not very good at all. Um, if you look down that row of uh, resistors just to the left of the LEDs you'll see that some are up some are down some are flat you know some are up at one side some are a bit jaunty it's just generally not very good so the big balls of solder on the end um i mean this first one here you can see it's it's horrific um <laughs> it's not good at all um and so basically what it, that boils down to is, is using too much solder paste. Um, so that's what I thought we'd address in this video. Uh, we'll just do another sort of, uh, PCB up uh, and I'll just show you this sort of better way to do it or, or if we can do it uh, to a much higher standard. Now the issue that I experienced was the essentially the size of the nozzles uh, that came with the soda paste. This is the one that was supplied, or one of the ones that was supplied. Uh, if I just get the old digital calipers out, oops, we can see that the internal uh, diameter of this is 1.47, uh, so just under 1.5 millimetres. Uh, and basically that was putting out too much solder paste. It was quite difficult to control the flow coming out of that because it was building up pressure in the syringe and, uh, you know, basically after you'd, you'd take the nozzle away it would continue to come out and it was really difficult to control. So I did buy um, a little bottle from AliExpress which came with uh, an assortment of um, an assortment of these nozzles or needles, whatever you want to call them, various sizes, course various different outside and inside diameters so I had a little bit of play about uh, before I started this video and I found that this one um, is is absolutely perfect it really is good uh, for doing this kind of stuff so if we look at the internal diameter of that we'll see that's a uh, point you know point eight six eight seven something like that so it's just a uh, just over uh, half a millimeter uh, smaller in size um, but yeah, it does seem to work a bit better. So what I thought we'd do tonight would be to build another kit. Not so much a kit actually, but a, a practice board. Now these practice boards can be purchased from AliExpress extremely cheaply. I think this is about 50p including delivery to United Kingdom. Um, and it's got various uh, components supplied with it. Um, we've got some uh, 0805 uh, resistors and capacitors. We've got uh, some 1206 um, diodes as you can see there i uh, got a few um sort 23 um, transistors and a couple of packages an so 16 and an so 14 yeah so what i thought we'd do is uh basically let's say redo the tutorial if you like and i'll show you just how much soda uh, you need to to use it very much is like the old uh, analogy your driving instructor used to use when talking about speed you know it's easier to it's easier to uh, uh, speed up than it is to slow down and it's it's kind of a similar analogy it's it's easier to to put more solder on more solder paste on than it is to take it off so that's what we're going to be looking at tonight um so what i'll do is i'll pause the video um i'll hook up the borescope camera to get a better close-up image and then i'll show you just how little solder you actually need to uh, put this board together anyway if you just bear with me i'll get set up Welcome back folks, a couple of points, the first one being uh, the software I normally use to uh, record my borescope on my Galaxy S7 Edge is not compatible with the new uh, Android 7.0 operating system so I've had to move the workbench closer to the camera uh, just to keep the you know the clarity in the image so that was the first point, second point is you will notice I've already soldered these diodes on um, I did a nice, uh, hopefully quite a nice tutorial talking you through everything and then realised I hadn't pressed record so apologies uh, those are already on there but as you can see uh, nice shiny joints with minimal solder 
quite pleased with those actually. Um, so let's carry on with the tutorial. Um, the first thing uh, we're going to have to do, or make sure we do, is make sure the, the tip of the nozzle is clean. It just uh, makes things a bit easier. Um, and then what we want to do, <clears throat> I think I mentioned in the other video, uh, is just keep the, the syringes as vertical as we can. Um, now, this might be quite difficult to, to show you. I will attempt actually to zoom in like so. Um, and what we want to do is put the, the tip of the nozzle almost directly onto the board. Um, in fact, there's enough solder just come out there, as you can probably see. Um, and just the uh, gentlest of pressure and just the tiniest amount of solder paste going down on the board. Now, you really don't need a lot of pressure to get the, the paste out. It is coming out quite nicely. And there we have it, not not a lot of paste at all. Um, no, I can get it to focus. It literally just covers the, the pad and no more. So let's uh, put the transistors on now. Oops. Okay, let's just tip those out. And we'll throw them on the board. Now, if you do get into surface mount stuff um, you can get stencils which make your, your work obviously a lot tidier a lot nicer um, but as hobbyists you know probably the chances of us want to go that in depth are fairly slim um, but you know it's, it's something to consider uh, if you if you do get into it like I say um, when we're putting these components on, I think I mentioned again in the previous video, we just want to sort of line them um, as best we can. They don't need to be absolutely perfect, um, just close enough uh, as the, the reflow process will drag them into position. Or at least that's the theory of how it should work. There we go. And the last one. Like so. Okay. So we'll heat it up with a, a hot air reflow. What do you call it? Sorry, rework gun, if you want to call it that. Uh, I've set this to around 350, and the uh, speed setting around uh, one and a half, two, something like that. So we're gently just going to heat this up, not keeping the temperature. Oh, sorry, not keeping the nozzle in any one place for any great length of time. Just gently move that around there. You can see the paste starts to go as a chalky white colour. And then shortly after that we should see it uh, beaded up and dragging the components into place. We can see that top one, there we go, that's them start to go. And there we have it. So that's our transistors in place. Nice joints, not too much solder. Perfect. Okay, right, we'll do a couple of the capacitors now. Um, I'm not going to do them all because this is just going to cause the video to drag on and drag on. But exactly the same principle. Tiniest amount of solder. So you can do this fairly quickly once you get the, the knack. Get a feel for the the technique. There we go, I'll just show you again. Barely a coating uh, on there. And then we'll take our caps. Like so, 
and just chuck them on the board again just roughly in the middle don't be too super critical about it Last two or three now. And there we go. So you can see there's a few of those a bit jaunty, but uh skew if, whatever you want to call it. Um but you'll see that these will uh come into place quite nicely once we start heating them up. Just keep an eye on them, let's see, look for it going sort of chalky white, and then shortly after that, the silver, uh, sorry, the lead and tin will melt together with the aid of the flux, and then they'll all be dragged into position. There we go. Now we can see this one here has just uh, decided to go its own way. So we can just sort of poke that into position and it will uh, sort itself out. See I think I've got my air speed just a s slightly too fast uh, on this occasion for these uh, components. there we have it nice joints everything's on the board nice and even you can see they're almost perfectly aligned and um, we've got that nice fillet of solder on the end really quite a nice job if I do say so myself <laughs> right now the big thing we had the problem with uh, last video was the packages and getting those um, getting those soldered up um, without the shots so we're going to do exactly the same thing with these, except it's going to be a continuous uh, bead of solder paste, okay? So, if I can orientate this um, as best I can, and I will just apply a little bit of pressure, like so, and then same on this one. Maybe slightly too much on that side, we'll see. Okay, right, so two little beads of soda paste. Uh, again, if I try and tip it, you'll see there's barely enough cover in those pads. And we'll put these two packages on. We've got this one here. This is a SO14. It says Annex125 on there. Don't know what that is. But we'll just plunk it on. And again, just align it sort of, in the general area. And then we've got this package here, which is completely blank. There's no notch, there's no pin markers, there's no anything at all on it. It's just a totally blank chip. Probably some sort of custom chip or something like that that's uh, just been used for these kits now. Um, yeah, rough alignment. And then we'll heat them up again. And hopefully that will conclude the tutorial. So, gentle heat. Make sure not to keep it in any one place for any great length of time, as I've already mentioned before in this video. And you want to, because it's, these are larger components, you want to heat these up so equally on both sides as best you can. Because obviously if one side reflows uh, before the other, there's potential that it might not uh, sort of locate itself properly. Uh, of course when using a tiny component it's easy to heat up both sides at the same time so there we go it is and 
here's another one and you can see it being dragged into place okay well there we have it guys uh, that's our two packages on again just let it cool down slightly um, it's I shouldn't really be picking it up just now because the board, let's say, might well will retain some heat for a short period of time. But look at those joints, guys. I would suggest that those are almost perfect. <laughs> yes, uh, that end one's got a bit too much solder on there, just here. But the actual, uh, you know, that's not going to cause you any problems at all. It's purely cosmetic. Um, really nice joints. Um, you know, and it's, you know, it's, it'll work, you know, there's no problems at all with those. So, there we have it, guys. Uh, I don't want to ramble on too much. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's uh, obviously not showing you a working circuit, but clearly you can see from those joints and all of those joints that those will, uh, you know, make, that those are all good electrical connections. Um, and, yeah, try and get yourself a couple of surface mount kits uh, for you to... Uh, practice at home I've, I mentioned in my previous video um, or one of my previous videos that uh, the days of through hole components uh, and, and kits they're the, the, the slowing down you know we're going to see more and more surface mount stuff and, and eventually the phasing out of through hole components they will of course exist in some uh, form for, for many years but you know this is the way things are going guys and the sooner we get uh, doing this work and, and building a technique up um, you know, the easier it's going to be for us in the future. Anyway, rambling on. Take care of yourselves, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give me the thumbs up. If you thought it was a load of tosh, give me the thumbs down. And as always, if you'd like to subscribe, where's my finger? You can click in my fat head here. And uh, yeah, take care of yourselves. Until next time, all the best.